Okay, good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Councilmember Daniel Drum and I'm the chair of the committee. Today we are joined by Councilmember Steve Matteo, Councilmember Rory Lansman, Councilmember Andy Cohen, Councilmember Keith Powers, Councilmember Adrian Adams, Councilmember Robert Cornegy, Councilmember Vanessa Gibson, and Councilmember Francisco Moya. Today the committee will be voting on four items, a pre-considered resolution related to the Hudson Yards development in the Speaker's District, a transparency resolution, and two Article 11 property tax exemptions. First, we have the pre-considered resolution sponsored by the Speaker. This resolution would support an additional borrowing of up to $500 million by the Hudson Yards Infrastructure Corporation to complete the infrastructure projects in the Hudson Yards Financing District, including the Phase 2 of the project, which includes expansion of the Hudson Boulevard and Park. The resolution would also support an undertaking by the city to pay current interest subject to appropriation to the extent not paid from revenues of HYIC on, on such HYIC indebtedness. Uh, next, we, will, we have the transparency resolution, which sets forth a new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the Council, or another entity are identified in the attached charts with an asterisk. As with all transparency resolutions, Council members will have to sign disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any Council member has a potential conflict of interest, with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with the proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Benjamin Smith from the General Counsel's Office is here and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding disclosures. Next, we have the land use items. The first is 526 West 158th Street in Council Member Levine's district in Manhattan, which would provide a full 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to support the preservation of 29 units of affordable co-op housing. The second is 941 Rogers Place in Council Member Salamanca's district in the Bronx, which would provide a full 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to support the preservation of 20 units of affordable co-op housing. Both of these properties were being considered for round 10 of HPD's third party transfer program and the approval of these Article 11 exemptions will mean that HDFC co-op owners will get to retain the equity in their homes. Both of the council members are supportive of the projects in their districts. Those are all of today's items. Are there any questions? I'll now ask Billy Martin, uh, committee clerk, to call the roll. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Gibson. Aye. Cohen. Aye. Cornegie. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Adams. Aye. Moya. I vote aye. Powers. Matteo. By a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, and thank you. I'm going to ask the clerk to keep the vote open until about 11.15. Thank you. Thank you, members.